Do your cats wake you up at the crack of dawn? Do they prevent you from getting a good night's sleep? As much as we love our furry family members, most of us would prefer if that love wasn't expressed by them pouncing on our chests at 4 a.m. The first step to changing this behavior is to understand why cats do it. Cats are nocturnal animals by nature. They hunt and eat primarily at night. Even though studies have shown that domestic cats adapt their daily rhythms to their environment and to human activity, this natural instinct still dominates for many cats. Then, when you consider that most of our cats are alone for much of the day and probably sleep most of the time, it's no wonder they become active at night. Now we'll give you three tips that will stop the behavior right away. Number one, stop rewarding unwanted behavior. When your cat wakes you up early in the morning, your first thought is probably to go back to sleep. But in most cases, that's just not possible when the cat is jumping on you, attacking your feet or pulling your hair. So eventually you get up and feed the cat. And guess what you just did? You've rewarded the behavior you don't want. You need to break this cycle, and if you go two weeks without responding to your cat's attempts to get you out of bed, you'll most likely succeed. It will take you some moral fortitude to do this for two weeks, but it will be worth the effort. Number 2. Use your cat's natural cycle to your advantage. If you usually feed your cat as soon as you get home from work, consider moving mealtime closer to bedtime. You shouldn't do this all at once, because then you'll probably be stuck with a very unhappy cat, but if you can feed her a half hour later each day, you should be able to change her feeding schedule without much hassle. Play with your cat before you feed her. I can't stress enough how important ritualized play is, especially for apartment cats. 5 to 10 minutes, ideally at least twice a day and always at the same time, will help alleviate all sorts of behavior problems. When you play with your cat before you feed her, you're mimicking the cat's natural behavior, chase, kill, and eat. If you don't want to move your cat's mealtime close to bedtime, feed her at her usual time, but reduce the amount a little. Feed the remaining amount as a bedtime snack after a play session just before bedtime. Number 3. Stay firm. After you've made the changes I just mentioned, you need to continue to give the new routine time. It may take a few weeks or longer for your cat to accept that things have changed, and it's up to you to persevere and stay consistent. Now, would you like to know what your cat does exclusively when she doesn't trust you? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking you to here.